Hi everyone and welcome to Tatum's Tech Talk. Um, the 2020 World Championship is almost upon us, it's just around the corner and we thought this was a, a great opportunity to talk more about the Speedway bike and specifically about the setup of a Speedway bike. Apologies to those who are involved in the business and know all about this, but uh, there are plenty out there that this is going to give you just a little bit more insight and help you when you're watching a Grand Prix. Uh, we hear from Grand Prix riders all the time these days about how hard the setup is to find. Uh, it's very tough, you know, today because uh, we're a little bit struggling with the setup. Not really got the right thing underneath me to, to allow me to do the job. I'm riding a little bit harder than I normally do to try and make up for that. I wanted to start by focusing in on the gearing. A Speedway bike only doesn't have a gearbox and it only just has the one gear and uh, to change that gearing you need to change the size of the sprockets. Here we've just got a few to show you. You can see here we've got some smaller ones and some slightly larger ones. And there is a whole range to enable you to cope with all different types of tracks. The uh, initial sprocket that you will choose will be determined by the size of the track. Uh, the weather may have been inclement uh, and the track is grippy and heavy. So therefore you would then actually introduce a slightly larger sprocket because then you want to actually increase the RPM on the engine. If you don't do that, the bike's lazy, lethargic and difficult to ride. And of course the opposite can apply. Uh, if it's been uh, red hot, we've had a heat wave recently, conditions would be slick no grip on the track at all, that's when you would actually then reduce the size of the sprocket. And the reason you would do that is that then the engine won't be over revving. If you're over revving out on the track, of course you're then getting too much wheel spin and you're not generating enough speed out there. And that's, uh, that's not what you want, you're gonna be very vulnerable. That's the sort of mindset and the thought process you'll be going through prior to the event beginning. But as the evening unfolds, the track will evolve and there's almost certainly a point, potentially after a couple of rides, that you would look to change the gearing again. Uh, you're looking over the safety fence, dirt's moving out, not quite as much grip. You'll then probably introduce a slightly smaller sprocket again to make sure that you keep that engine running in exactly the right RPM range. Gearing is something that you will always be thinking about all the time you're riding. Get it right, you're winning races, miss out, uh, you're gonna find it a hard night. Gearing all important.